Hi, I'm Matt. My name is Mark. We play in Blink-182, and this is our four-track history. What's My Age Again was a song that I started in my living room in San Diego. I picked up a guitar and I wrote this little riff and I started writing a joke song that was a lot more obscene than the final version. And we were just gonna record it as a joke song, but uh, Tom and Travis were both like, uh, that song's too good to make a joke song. Let's make an actual song out of it. And uh, so we recorded it and it did very well and the rest is history. It's uh, it's mildly terrifying playing that song. I mean, there there's some songs off that record that, um, you know, Blink. That record has so much energy, but there's also some very it, within that energy. There's some very intimate moments where you need to be able to calmly play these parts so they sound, you know, right and good. Um, but it's you know more than anything, it's an honor. I think you know it's just like anything. There's songs that are easy to play that up that you know one of us will manage to screw up. Um, you know, it's just uh, I just have to pay attention. You know, so uh, but it's more than anything, it's an honor and it's a lot of fun. The Rock Show. The story behind the Rock Show is. After the success of Enema of the State, we went in to start writing the next album, which became Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. And we were determined we were gonna make this important, different record. We'd done all the poppy, sing-along, silly stuff. This song was gonna be post-hardcore, post-punk, darker, edgier. So we went in, we wrote this album, demoed it. Our manager came in to listen to everything, listened to it all and goes, it's cool. We were like, what are you talking about? This, this is our art. And he said, well, I mean, the songs are great. It's just there's none of that happy summertime, you know, go out with your friends and have a great time song. And I was so mad. And Tom was so mad. And we left the studio and just disgust, went home. I was like, fine, you want your happy summertime song? I'm going to write you just the, I'm going to write you that. And it became the rock show. Tom went home the same night, same energy, and wrote First Date. So... The first two singles that came off of Take Every Pants and Jacket, The Rock Show, and First Date, written in anger at our manager. I Miss You was a song that uh, Tom had the, Tom had the basic uh, guitar riff and structure for the verses part of the song. And we went in and we started writing. We had a different chorus for a while, but we weren't really feeling it. And uh, I made a mistake playing the bass and it actually sounded good. And so I presented that to Tom and Travis as an idea and we worked on it like that. I Miss You was a very special moment in the Untitled record. It kind of was, uh, every, got the best out of everybody at the time. And you know, Travis recorded this amazing drum loop and we did it all on acoustic instrumentation. There's even our producer, Jerry Finn, had this uh, like organ that you powered with your hand and had a bellows on it. And that's what the uh, that's the organ sound is on that record. So, special song in our history, that's for sure. That's slow. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Miss you was. I think that was one of the songs. I you know I've I've been a, a Blink fan um, since you know I, I thought the band was cool. We we shared a video comp together, and you know, but Animal was what really cemented my fandom. Um, and so there were songs like uh, like the production on I Miss You. I just I thought it was a great song, but also a uh, very interesting production. And um, I remember listening to those records and trying to figure out which instrument was playing what and at certain occasions. And uh, Miss You was one of those songs and it being recorded acoustically and with these kind of uh, left of center or uncommon instruments, I guess. Um, it's it's just uh, it, you know it's a pretty s simple song to play, but again, like I said with um, uh, what's my age again? You know, you definitely there's a lot going on. You have to pay attention, and uh, there's still one part in the verse I sing that it's so hard for me to play the rhythm guitar part and sing the lyrics. They're two very different cadences. 
So, um, but it's it's a blast, and again, it's a uh, it's an honor. Bored to Death is the first song that we worked on for California with our producer John Feldman, and came together very quickly. Everybody showed up to the studio first day. Everyone threw their ideas around, started building this song. Uh, Travis left in the late afternoon, and I think Matt had an appointment as well, and I stayed behind. And I think John was doing some editing or some, uh, some stuff, playing things back, and we got to the bridge, and I said, oh, hang on a second, I got this idea. And I scribbled it down as fast as I could think through my head. I mean, the handwriting's just terrible, and I wrote it down, and I went in and sang the, uh, the bridge to that song. Uh, which ended up being actually something really cool. And yeah, it kind of set the foundation for all of California, that one song. And yeah, so there it is. That's all I want to tell you about that. <laughs> Choosing the first single off of albums used to be a lot more work than it is now. I feel like because you have the songs with you all the time, it's not like back in the day when, you know, everything was recorded on tape and you would have to get like, it would be a lot of work to get a, a, a bounce of it, like to take it with you. But now the way that everything's recorded on Pro Tools, you can take a copy of it home with you very easily. So the first song that you play people when they're asking like, oh, so what are you guys up to? What are you guys recording? What are you guys working on? That usually ends up being the first single because it's what you as an artist want people to hear for the first time. So Bored to Death is always a song that like I would go and I would play friends or other musicians or, you know, people that are like, oh, what's Blink up to? That was always a song that I chose first. Yeah. And Mar I remember we were in your kitchen and you asked me what that song was for me. And I said, bored to death. And you said, should that be the next single? And I said, I think so. And Travis agreed. The end. <laughs>